learning a new form is fun, right? You get to be challenged in a new way. It can also be a little bit frustrating. So I want to remind you, just be patient with yourself. Remember at Open the Door, we don't expect perfection in any way. But especially right now, as you're a beginner, learning, starting something new, just relax and let it happen step by step. Today, we're gonna to learn a new section in the 4D form, a section that uses kicks. Kicks that you know, but they're gonna be in a little bit of different order. So let's just talk about our kicking techniques in Tai Chi. We really need to understand that substantial and insubstantial to be able to kick. If you let all the weight come on to that right leg, let your left leg become completely empty, then lift and kick out and come back in. Thinking about the left leg being completely empty should help your brain to think this is easy. It's empty. It's easy to lift, kick, and bring it back down. We also want to be thinking about, if we can, lifting from the Dantian. We're not just lifting from the knee, actually. We're lifting from here and kicking and bringing it back in. You have to think about your columns as well. You want that supporting leg. Yes, you want your shoulder to be in line with your hip which is also in line with your leg, but your knee is going to be slightly bent. You never want it to be locked. This is going to help keep your balance to lift and kick. So just practice side to side, bringing all the weight onto one side. The other leg is completely empty and you're lifting from your Dantian. Let your Dantian lead that motion. Let your supporting leg, the one that is substantial, be slightly bent. Remember, we never want locked joints in Tai Chi. One more kick. One other thing is don't worry about the height of the kick. It makes no difference. What I want you to think about is balanced as you're kicking. So when we, in our section we ended after our wave hands like clouds we ended with another single whip we go into high pat on horse and this section is just like the 24 form so if you're familiar with the four form this will feel very easy so you're here in your single whip you step up with that right foot bringing the weight to the right and then step out left with your high pad on horse. Then you're gonna rock back, bringing your weight to the right. Bring your weight all the way to the left. Let this right leg become completely empty. Lift from your Dantian, kick, smash, lowering your center of gravity, box the ears. Then you're gonna rock back, bringing your weight to the right, let this left leg become completely empty, and you're gonna kick straight down the line. Now in the 24 form, what do we do after we kick, smash, and box the ears? We kick left, but what we do is we turn over that left shoulder and kick left. This time, after your kick, smash, and box the ears, you're still going to be facing this direction, but you're going to kick straight down that line. Remember, this is west. You're going to kick completely west. Now, the fun part of this section is you're going to put that left foot down and you're going to turn all the way around so that now you're facing west again. Weight is on the left and you get to kick right. Then you put that foot behind the left leg Bring the left hand up to protect, and you move that left leg over just a touch, and you pick the needle up from the C bottom, come up block, 
fan through the back, turn to the front, bringing your weight to the right, and then holding that ball to the left. Now that's the whole section. Let's take it apart just a little bit. Coming into your single width, we have our high pad on horse, stepping forward, rocking back to the right, bringing the weight to the left, Kick, smash, and box the ears. We rock back with our weight on the left, bring our weight to the right, kicking left straight west. Now this is the part that I wanna work on just a little bit is that turn. Because as we kick here and the leg is facing, is going all the way to the west, our torso is a little bit more on that northwest side. And ideally with your Tai Chi shoes, with something that's nice and easy to pivot, you want to be able to pivot on the balls of your feet, turning all the way around. And the weight comes to the left. Now, if that, you saw in that if that kind of turn is difficult for you to do or you don't have the right shoes or you don't have the right uh, surface to be pivoting like that, then you can just turn. Don't worry about being perfect, right? Don't worry about being, oh, I have to be I have to look like I'm on TV and know how to pivot perfectly. You don't have to. You can just turn and take as many steps as you need to then have the weight on the left. If you want to do that turn, again, you're going to have this left foot over the right and you're gonna turn all the way around, then the weight's on the left and you kick right. So let's get into that one again. Coming from your single whip, high pad on horse, step out, cross your hands. Rock back onto the right, then come on to the left and kick, smash, and box the ears. Notice this is where I'm a little bit on that diagonal northwest. I rock back onto the left, bring my weight onto the right, kick left, straight west, and then I turn. My weight's on the left, kick right, step behind with that right foot. You're stepping behind your left foot. Bring that left hand up, adjust that left foot over, pick the needle up from the C bottom, come up block, fan through the back, turning to the front and holding the ball to the left. Let's do that section one more time. Coming into that single whip, high pad on horse, kick smash and box the ears. Kicking left. turning all the way around, kick right, step behind with that right, pick the needle up from the C bottom, come up block, fan through the back, bringing your weight to the right, back to the left, holding the ball. So it's a very short little section, but practicing those kicks practicing your substantial and insubstantial, practicing lifting from the Dantian, making sure that you are balanced as you kick, not worrying about the height, but being balanced and then being able to do that turn either by pivoting or just by moving your feet. You still want to be, even if you're just moving your feet, you still want to be in a general, um, come back to the same place. You don't want to 
move your feet and end up all the way back here. You want to actually be in that same place because our goal at the end of the day is we want to end the form in the, approximately the same place where we start. So work on those kicks, work on putting it from that single whip, and in the next section, in the next weekly lesson, we're gonna put from the beginning through that through those kicks, we'll put it all together.